um, USB 3.0 and Thunderbolt 2.0. Um, neither has been released yet, but I want to talk about it and some of the misconceptions people have and uh, try to pit one against the other. Now, recently uh, in the news, it came out that there's going to be a new standard with USB 3.1 standard that will uh, allow speeds up to 10 gigabits per second and uh, previously or right now 3.0 is at 5 gigabits per second and uh, this new three uh, USB 3.1 is going to be coming out at late 2014 expected and uh, maybe some devices for that a little bit later on uh, uh, perhaps 2015 um, now also it's going to also be uh, twice the bandwidth fully duplex uh, why currently um, uh, USB 3.0 is just a single lane. Uh, now also uh, on the Thunderbolt scene, uh, which Intel is coming out with and uh, Apple utilizes currently, uh, along with some other PC manufacturers, um, it's going to up the bandwidth from 10 gigabits per second all the way up to 20 gigabits per second. Now they decided to go with wire connection. Uh, for several reasons. For one thing, it's cheaper and it allows for a powered bus so you can power peripherals up to a certain amount. And it's expected to come out in fall when the new 2013 Mac Pro comes out. It's going to utilize Thunderbolt 2.0. And uh, now currently Thunderbolt's about 10 gigabits per second uh, four lanes or dual duplex, which means uh, four lanes. Now, uh, by uh, the uh, Thunderbolt 2.0 is actually going to drop two of these lanes, uh, effectively doubling the speed to uh, 20 gigabits per uh, second. Now, like I said, uh, I mentioned before, people kind of want to pit one against the other, and that's really wrong, saying one's better than the other, because both can coexist uh, peacefully. And uh, for one thing, I always consider USB a consumer average computer users market for USB is consumers and then Thunderbolt I always considered um, professional or the pro market and um, and that's the way it should always be um, and we're gonna kinda break this down even more uh, obviously with USB for the consumer version the cost is gonna be much lower of course they're using, uh, sometimes all you really need to use for it is like uh, keyboards and mouses. So you don't really need that bandwidth. Um, now, also, they're also uh, backward compatible with these devices as well, all the way to usually uh, uh, USB 1.1, I believe. Now, even when Intel released Thunderbolt, they said it was not made to compete with USB. They're two different standards. Uh, made for two different things. Now, Thunderbolt, on the other hand, uh, their devices tend to be more expensive. Of course, that's primarily because it's geared toward the professional users uh, who get paid to um, use these high-priced devices uh, that are geared toward uh, things such as uh, video and audio. Um, and we can even see this looking back all the way um, with Firewire, um, people said the same thing. Firewire is too expensive. All this, this, that, and, and so on. And even USB uh, 2.0, which has a, a speed about uh, 480, um, is actually um, faster than Firewire. And top of my head, I think uh, Firewire is about 400 speed. Um, but if you actually went into real world testing, Firewire is actually much faster than USB 2.0 and one of the reasons actually uh, USB is dependent on the CPU to actually do a lot of its work um, uh, by as much as 10 to 20 percent so uh, now and I'm going through my notes so I did, uh, didn't want to miss anything okay so as you can see um, there's really no need to fight between the two standards they can coexist quite peacefully and we do have the need for both of them.